Hi everyone and welcome to this video by the University of Reading. My name is Louise and I'm a Student Recruitment and Access Officer at the University. In this video today we're going to be talking all about the UCAS application process. We're going to cover how to apply to university through UCAS, what your offers might look like, key things to remember and useful resources for your research. When you apply to university, you make your application via UCAS. This stands for the University and Colleges Admission Services. You can create your account online on the UCAS hub. This is where you make your application, track your offers, and also can do lots of research into your chosen course, things like student finance, student life, and more. Some key facts about the application process. It is entirely online on UCAS. You can go onto their website and create an account. You get a maximum of five choices of university. There are some choice restrictions. If you want to study medicine, veterinary science or dentistry, you can only choose four. And if you wish to apply to Oxford or Cambridge, you can only apply to one of these. There is a small application fee associated with making your application to university through UCAS, and you can check this fee on the UCAS website. When you make your application, you have to fill in the form on the UCAS site um, and you have to make your way through each section of the form. It's very important that you're very meticulous and make sure that everything is correct. You can save your progress as you proceed through the form, so you don't need to do it all in one go. It is important that you check that your details are correct as you don't want to have missed anything or made a mistake that would hinder your application process later on down the line. You do need to fill in your personal details, things like your name and address, additional information such as any extra needs that you might have, information about student finance, your choices of university and course, your education history. These are all of your qualifications that you've ever taken. Even if you're not happy with the grades that you received, it is important that you put everything in. Your paid employment history, a supporting statement for your application, and your referee details. So the person who is going to give you your reference. This is usually your tutor at school or college. Once you have finished all of this and thoroughly checked it, you can then press send and it will go to your referee. This is usually your tutor. They will add your reference and then they will send it and it will go to UCAS. UCAS will process your application and send it to all of your choices of university. The universities don't know who else you've applied to and UCAS also has a plagiarism service to make sure that you've not plagiarised on any of the supporting statement that you have written. After this, the universities receive your application and we will consider them equally by the January deadline. In terms of the timeline for UCAS, in September, this is when applications open. In October, this is the deadline for applications to Oxford, Cambridge, Medicine, Dentistry and Veterinary Science. So if this applies to you, it's really important to remember that you have a sooner deadline. The deadline for most other courses is January. Then the universities will process the applications and you may be invited to interview as part of your application process. You can check on university websites to see whether or not your course interviews. May is the time when the majority of offers are made by universities. May June time is when you reply to your offers and decide on your firm and insurance choices. So this is where you pick your top choice that you really hope to get into and your, that's your firm and your insurance choice is your backup option if you don't get into your firm. So this is usually lower grade requirements. In August, this is results day where you find out if you've got into your first choice or your second choice of university or if you've missed your offer. This is also when clearing opens. So if you have missed your offer, you can still um, call up through clearing and potentially go to university um, on a course that has leftover spaces. There are three responses that universities can give to your application. The first is an unconditional offer. This means that you can come to the university no matter what results you get, as they are already satisfied with the quality of your application. Next is a conditional offer. This means that you can come to the university and start your course based on certain conditions. 
This might be certain grade requirements, like receiving certain grades in your A-level or BTEC or similar. The university can also unfortunately reject you. Sometimes our courses are very oversubscribed. It can be very competitive, but do remember you do have five choices. So try not to panic um, and you should certainly receive at least some of your offers. Key things to remember on the UCAS application. Whilst the deadline is in January, your school or college might have its own internal deadline, which is sooner. This is so that tutors have time to write their references. So do make sure you check with your school or college what their internal deadline is. Make sure that you use an appropriate email address as we do see it on your application. And a memorable password is important because you don't want to be panicking on results day that you've forgotten your password. When you do the qualification section of your application, you must input all of your qualifications. Even if you weren't happy with your grades, you have to put your entire education history. In the work experience section, this is only for paid work experience. If you've done something like volunteering or a summer school, this can go in your supporting statement. When you apply, you have to put down your five choices or four or however many you've chosen. You have to put in a code that corresponds with the university and the course that you wish to, to study or you wish to choose. Make sure that these codes are definitely correct. You can check them on UCAS. Um, don't make any typos or anything like this. You want to make sure that you have chosen the correct codes for the courses that you wish to apply to. If you have any extra needs, do declare this on your UCAS form, as this means universities can be alerted to it before you arrive and we can put things in place to help you um, when you do study with us at university. If you click the consent to share box on the finance section, this means that you consent to share your financial information with the university. This can be really helpful as the university will become aware of your financial situation and you may even be automatically eligible for something like a bursary or a grant. So we do recommend that you do this. When you apply, you also need to input a buzzword if you're applying through your school or college. This means that your application will then go straight to your tutor so they can add their reference. Make sure that you've spelt this correctly and that you check with your school or college what the buzzword is. In order to receive your offer, you may have to do some extra things in addition to your UCAS application. For some courses, there is an admissions test, for example, law and medicine or some specific universities. Some university courses do interview. This is an opportunity for us to get to know you better. Remember to prepare for this. Reread your personal statement as you'll usually be asked questions based on your personal statement. If you've done any extra reading, you know, it might be worth rereading this or revisiting it, revisiting it so that you're prepared for your interview. If you're doing a creative course, you might be asked to do a portfolio. This is a collection of work that you have done. It might be physical items or maybe um, digital that you send over. It's the best work that you've done, something that you're very proud of. Um, so it is a good idea to collect it, start collecting it as soon as possible. You may also be invited for a visit day. This actually has no implication on your offer. This is an opportunity for you to see the university and to have a look around and see if it's the right place for you. It's for the university to convince you um, to consider them as one of your top choices. Finally, here are some useful resources. Um, so you might, might want to check the university websites directly for full course information. So it's really important that you're choosing courses that you genuinely are excited to study and you can check exactly what modules and content they offer on the university website. Our one is www.reading.ac.uk. The UCAS Hub is of course where you make your application. This is where you can sign up. Um, you can also use it as a research tool as it has excellent information about universities, courses, student finance and more. You can chat to students and staff at universities directly on Unibuddy. Our one is reading.ac.uk slash chat. Another excellent way to research universities is to attend open days, taster days, UCAS fairs and similar. You can find out about these on UCAS and on university websites. Also, you can check out university prospectuses. These are usually free online on university websites. 
and universities often have all forms of social media so you can see what they're getting up to and if it seems like the kind of place that you might like to study. Thank you so much for listening to this video and best of luck with your application. If you have any comments or questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us at outreach at reading.ac.uk.